how are you doing? I hope you're keeping cool. I found a shady spot in the garden um, just on the stairs here and um, the steps are steel so it feels very cold and shady which I'm all about. Today I've got a really juicy question for you to begin your Monday with and the question is are you in or are you out? And this question is so great because you can use it in so many different ways and you can really peel back the layers of it. So when I ask you, are you in or are you out? It can be as simple as, is it a yes or is it a no? Is it, this feels good, this doesn't feel good? Is it, I want to do this or I don't want to do this? And you know yourself when you have made that decision from that place of feeling good, how great it feels. And also when you are sitting on those decisions, when you can't make up your mind or you're not really sure what the right thing to do is, you know how they can really take over your brain and they come to visit you at 12, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. We know that feeling as well. But I've noticed times in my life when I've used this question to keep me going and keep me propelling forward. Because sometimes I have said yes to things that feel so good in my body, they feel really, really aligned, but I have no idea why. And also I have no idea how I'm going to actually do the thing. And as I'm saying yes, it's a lot of trust, it's a lot of self-belief, but also self-doubt, of course, because we're feeling all those feelings at the same time. But it's a really interesting one. Equally, I've known sometimes that the decision has been like, absolutely not, this does not feel right to me. I'm not really sure why, but I've just got a feeling and I'm going to trust that. And nine times out of 10 for me, if I really listen, if I really tune in, I get to a point where I feel satisfied and good with my decision. But the reason that I want to go deeper into this is that between that, I really want to do it and say yes, and I'm in and say no, is this whole spectrum. And you can use this spectrum to really get clarity, but also accelerate the process. So if you're finding, for example, that the things that you want to be, do, have and feel, all of the things that you're moving towards, if you're finding that they're not happening as quickly as you want, or you may be not making the progress, or you're just in that sort of stuck, frustrated place, work out where you are on that spectrum and really consider what do you need to say yes to a little bit more? So this might be turning up the activity, for example, of saying, right, I'm gonna, I keep talking about uh, marketing my business. I actually need to do it much more. Or maybe you're in certain situations where you come away from that situation and you feel really depleted and you're doing all of the things and you need to start saying no a little bit more. So my partner, for example, has been away for about six weeks on and off and he's back now. And um, I really noticed that in that time, having two small children, running a business and everything else that life throws at you, um, I knew that my children were ready for a bit more independence. And also I was really ready for them to have a bit more independence because I was seeing that they could do more and understand more. And so we introduced this, put it by the front door uh, phrase, which allowed them to really take responsibility. So instead of saying, mom, can I take this? Mom, like, where's my whatever? Put it by the front door. And what happened then is it started to build that habit for them of getting closer to going all in and doing the things that they want. Also, another scenario is that if you have been on the other side of a conversation, and I'm not talking in a sort of a therapy or a coaching scenario here, I'm talking about when you meet somebody or you're having a chat with a friend. When you're in that situation, when you can feel vagueness from somebody, 
And I really noticed this a lot when I was training as an actor, um, even before that, as a child, you know, I felt really, really set on my vision. Like, I'm going to go to London. I'm going to do all these things. Likewise, I didn't, I didn't know any actors who made money. I didn't know how I was going to make any of this possible. I just, I didn't know. But I had the vision. I knew that I was going to do it. And it was really interesting once I started to get into drama school and or or any other, I guess, success that I'd had as a, a child or things that I was doing or commitments that I was making. The temptation often was that people would say things like, yeah, I was going to do that. I was going to do that. But I didn't in the end. I was going to do that. I was going to think about that. And it's really an interesting conversation because it's something that I can say to myself sometimes of like, yeah, I was, I was going to do that, but I didn't get around to it or I was too busy or whatever. And sometimes some of those um, stories are absolutely true and it's not the right time, but sometimes they're not. Sometimes I could have filled in that form. Sometimes I could have sent the email or done the thing or said yes or whatever. And I look back on that time and I really notice that every step of the way I said, yes, like, yes, keep moving forward, keep doing the thing. And that was the only difference a lot of the time, because there were so many people that I knew and have known over the years that are probably more talented than me. I mean, I certainly found this in the dance world, you know, much longer limbs, much greater flexibility, uh, lots of um, tricks and techniques and all of that sort of stuff. And um, I knew that they would be much more capable, but it's always that missing piece of really looking at how you are showing up and how you are moving forward and are you moving forward? And so today, and as you start your week, I would love you to think about what is it that you're really going for this week? What are you trying to get closer to? And how can you begin to go further towards that and go all in and commit? Now, these could be really small changes of you instead of yourself saying it's not happening quick enough or I'm trying to do something or like, yeah, I haven't got X, Y and Z and like I'm feeling this, this and this. Look at ways that you can reframe that. Look at ways that you can continue moving forward. So sometimes it might be an affirmation. I am working on this at the moment imperfectly. Great. As soon as you say to your brain, um, I'm doing, we're doing this imperfectly, right? We're just, we're going to figure it out as we go. Your brain goes, oh, lovely. Thanks for taking me off the hook. This just means that we can play. We, we can have a go. We can experiment. We can see what happens. And that's a, a rest and um, a relief for both of you. Um, equally as well, if you know where you're going next, you might have to close some things down. You might have to, it's almost like guess who, you know, when you play that game where you're like, you've got to put some of the faces down to get to the one that you want. Have a think about some of the stuff that you might need to stop doing. So there may be arrangements that are floating in your head that you don't really want to go to, or there are things that you know that you want to, but your current diary doesn't allow space for that. Or sometimes it's a moment that, um, it's about questioning your own schedule. And I remember that sense of, oh, I never wanted to do any work on a Saturday because Saturday when I was a kid, it was about, you know, going to dancing or eating nice food. I mean, this is a kid and then in a teenage, it was all about working. Um, but it was about watching telly all day, all morning until about one o'clock and just enjoying that process. And I had to realize that there were times certainly when after I'd had children or when I decided to grow certain things in my business, if I was going to grow those, I'd have to work at some peculiar hours sometimes because the vision was different now. It was greater than me watching telly at that certain point. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love telly and I will always continue to watch it. Um, but it's about making those decisions are of um and wow. And what I, wow, I can't say the sentence, is what I'm doing right now taking me closer to what I ultimately 
want to get to? Is this helpful to me? And I'm not eliminating everything here because sometimes, you know, there are stuff of like, well, I don't really want to be paying my gas bill now. And it's like, well, I have, I have to pay my gas bill. So I'm, I'm going to do that. And that's part of like the process of being a human being. So it's a really juicy one. Have a think about where you're all in and where you are not and maybe where you need to almost tighten up some of the things and have a bit more trust, have a bit more self-belief and also recognise what has happened already. And I am releasing this week some bundles of my previous podcast episodes because I've got 110 interviews and I'm going to be taking some time off the summer and I was just thinking I want to rest a little bit creatively but what can I do? How can I show up? How can I continue to share stories? And so I am beginning to reshare some little expert, uh, excerpts of these podcasts and I began my podcast in 2018 and this process has been really interesting for me because I've got four and a half years of evidence of doing the things, of like being in the motion, of creating the stuff, of remembering like, gosh, I love that conversation. That was really great. I was on point then, like I was in motion and all of this was leading to where I am right now. And I think sometimes going back for you as well, just thinking, what was I doing six months ago? What have I figured out since then? Do you remember what happened five years ago? Oh, I was doing this and I felt like this and I've managed to accomplish this or change the way that I think about this or I've learned this and just going back and noticing what you've done already. I'm a big future planner of course but it's that trust, it's that muscle memory of noticing what you've built up so far that's really going to help you get to where you want to get to. So um, yeah, look out on the podcast, the Success Pick and Mix podcast. I'll leave the links down below, check them out. Have a lovely sunny day. Keep cool if you can, if you can't, um, I wish you good luck. Um, thanks for joining and I'll see you very soon. Bye.